here is a homemade power distribution center that I got for free at the uh, local ham fest a few weeks ago. And this was made out of some kind of a rack mount cabinet. It looks about rack size, although I don't see the mounting ears on it. And it's like one of those things that used to be popular in the 80s for uh, turning on various computer components. And of course today the power switch on computers is, is just a logic controlled thing anyway. It's not a, not a hard power on off switch. But I think these were popular to try and save, purportedly save wear and tear on the power switches and equipment. And this had some kind of crummy soldering on it. I uh, went through and re-soldered just about everything. And one thing it had, it had some MOVs on this terminal block. Here they are. I went ahead and disconnected them. Um, because they weren't, they weren't attached to these terminals very good, and one of the terminals, the MOVs broke off, so I thought, well, I'll just remove them to be safe. But I really don't like to just use uh, terminals like this that are crimped, because like with these MOVs, the, uh, let me see if I can see them here, they can, they can become, the terminals can become loose, from the uh, the connectors, or the, the terminal leads can come loose from the terminal lugs, and uh, you can end up with oxidation between the wire and the terminal, so I like to always solder these, even though they're designed to just be crimped. Soldering gives you a, a connection that's not going to oxidize. And I just went ahead and re-soldered all these joints. It's like whoever built this didn't heat the solder up long enough to flow it through the entire connection. There was only like a dab of solder just right at where the uh, the wire and the terminal met. It didn't it didn't cover the whole thing. And I re-soldered all these fuse holders too. He had 15 amp fuses, or whoever built this had 15 amp fuses in these. Really they should probably only be about five or seven or so because you're not going to be drawing uh, 60 amps out of this unit. You need to size the fuse so that it provides a reasonable amount of protection for each device. This is a lamp like that was used on an Ampex tape recorder for this power indicator lamp. And they used a four pole switch for this this thing here. And then individual switches for these other connections. So I know I'll find a use for this thing somewhere. I'm just kind of interesting seeing a homemade device like this. But it did need some re-soldering and reworking to bring it up to my standards of how things should be soldered.